All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about speed squares and we're going to be giving you five common tips. One is how to use it as a 90, a 45, how to rip stock with it, how to actually read trusses or any kind of an angle, yep. how to how determine to your amount. Yep. And then we're going to also tell you a quick cheat move on how to convert the numbers from your speed square one time to the numbers that match up with a chop saw like we have in the background so that you're not redoing the math every single time that you try to use the speed square. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the fundamentals today. What a speed square is known for is the 90 degree angle, of course. The straight cut, yeah. The straight cut right there. You just put your, your side up and boom. They also have a built-in 45. Yep. So with the same thing, if you want to make a 45, just straight along your board and now you've got a dedicated 45 yep. but there's a lot more to these speed squares than just a 90 and a 45 if we want to rip a board down let's say we want to take a board and we want to go from a five and a half or five and a quarter whatever your two by sixes is yep. say if you want to cut it down to a four inch four inches right here run your slot so you've got the slots right here you can see them right here right yeah put your pencil in your slot and then just run it down just, yeah. just like that simple as that yep that's a four inch mark that, all the way down as straight as the board is yep right so yep. if your board has a banana in it your, your line's gonna be a banana your not line's gonna be a banana and that's on both sides of the speed square so if, if you flip it over you don't have to use just one side right. or the other side if we wanted a two inch board, we just find the two inch slot. We've got it right here. Put our pencil in it and mark it down. And then we're gonna have our line. And that's gonna be straight as it goes. And they go in every quarter inch. They don't, they don't go like your sixteenths or whatever, but. Okay, so, but now we have more to this speed square than the ripping, the, yep. the 45 and the 90. We also have these numbers, which are hip and valley if you see when you're setting your trusses and stuff like that or if, if you're making your trusses if and, you're making your own and comment and what we're going to show these guys next is how to tell the pitch of their roof just by using a speed square okay all right so let's move over to we've got some decking over there we've got that deck railing yep. so let's tell the, the pitch of that deck railing okay so what we're actually demonstrating right now is how yeah. to tell any pitch this could be a roof this happens to be a railing but if you've got to duplicate a pitch for some reason your speed square will tell you now i can't see the numbers but is it well i actually can see the numbers yeah. from this side so let's yeah. show these guys because the speed squares are designed to be read both sides from both sides so let's show these guys what i'm looking at you can see just how easy it is to actually see the pitch so okay i'm gonna jump in here because what i'm about to show you is right but it's also very wrong and we're gonna catch this mistake in just a few moments and it's one of those common mistakes that just about anybody can make because of the way you're reading the square and you're gonna see that in just a minute well, if this was a roof this would be about a two and a quarter pitch yeah can you so let's break this process down a little bit because we kind of jumped into it <laughs> i kind of jumped into it yeah. assuming they knew what we were talking about so frankie's got the speed square up there and now what we're going to be doing in the center of your house if you're, if you're checking if you want to check your house this would be like the gable end the center going up okay. to the peak and then you level across and with down and then that would read your roof line this this would be your roof line yep so this is your roof line this is what we're this is this is the part that we're trying to figure out what the pitch is and we got to get the speed square perfectly level and then we're going to look at the difference so how close are we frankie pretty yeah. darn close yeah. and then right from here we can see where our pitch is right there we're so, not even we're probably one in we're probably one in uh three quarters inch pitch well, because look, this is your this is your uh, hip and valley this is your second one is your bottom one here is your common that would be your top oh, top cut oh so that's where see i can't i didn't see that yeah. from the side and that's where this can get confusing so yeah. this is one of those common mistakes you can make and go why isn't this working 
I'm yeah. glad we pointed this out. So let's go. I'm gonna go keep it sitting right there. Yeah. I couldn't see where that was the hip and valley. So this is the hip and valley. This is the hip and valley number. I got this here real quick. You hold it down lower. I want to show these guys. So this was the hip and valley number, and this was where you're reading the, the two. I was assuming it was a little bit over two, but that's wrong. So it was the common. That's the difference. So this is your common pitch. So we're not even at nope. a two nope. with that. And on the back side, this is what it looks like, and this is where it gets to be a little bit confusing. Okay. See, and once I get my, like when we were doing 10, I, see, I do this to my speed square. If I'm marking my, you know, I'm, we were at 412. Yeah. So I mark my four, you know, so every, every time I make my cut, I pivot down from my pivot down to my four, 412 pitch, you know, so I, I don't confuse myself to hit another four or, you know what I'm saying? So I just mark, you know, mark my speed square. So, so let's you come to the same mark. So you time. said something that was pretty interesting. You said the pivot. Let's go up top and show these guys what the pivot point is and how we use the pivot point because the pivot point is a critical element to this speed square, right? Yep, yep. yep. And that's I mean, no matter what, you, you know. So if you mark your board, say if you got to cut it at 16 inches up, measure up, and it's got to be on that on that pivot point, you know. We'll use this in, we'll use inches instead of feet. 16 inches. Once you make your mark. That is where you run your pivot. I can go in, you know, whatever I had to. You know, if I had to go uh, 10, 12. Keep your, your pivot and your numbers Stay on the same side of the board as you're reading the the speed square. No, don't you don't don't make a mistake and read it like your pivots on top and your numbers on the bottom. Your numbers got to be on the, at the top at, with the pivot. So here's your pivot point and here's your number and that's what Frankie's talking about. Don't make the mistake of putting your your number down below. Okay, you know this can also be used as a protractor. It's a 90 90 degree protractor. Yep. So let's let's go and show these guys up on the on the top part. Okay. How we use the protractor. I'm looking at the speed square. If I make a mark, boom, I can tell you what that is, just by going at my pivot point, cross. It's uh, 64 degrees. Yeah, 64 degrees. It would Where be. did you? So let's do that again. Let's do that uh, right over here on a fresh, fresh spot, so that we can see this a little bit better, Frankie. All right. So you, what you're what you're saying is you can tell how many degrees. Yeah. So I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna put the speed square down, throw it someplace, and make a mark. Okay. Not even knowing what I'm making. Okay. Now, if I wanted to figure what that out, what that is. You now I can come to the op other side of the board, go to the pivot point, follow my line, which I am, um, it would be 40, I would say 49, 49 degrees. So Frankie's reading right here right now. Yep, so this is 50, so he's reading this 49 degree mark. So he's got his line here lined up. And now he's trying to tell what this angle is, but he's reading it over here. As in degrees, yeah. As in degrees. And that's what the, that's the protractor. Okay. That's, this, that's how the protractor works. So any line that you want to try to tell, you utilize this pivot point, which is right here. Line it up on your line. And most of your speed screws will tell you, you know, that that's the pivot point, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So what are these? No clue. All new to me. See now these bigger speed squares come with um, um, a couple of arms for doing steps. Possibly for steps. I don't know. I, I've never, I guess I've never used them. I've never used that slot. Okay, so now this next one is we're going to convert from a 412 cut to a degree on a chop saw 
to save these guys a little time. So if they're going to be cutting on a chop saw, how yeah, do they? If you're going to be cutting a bunch of them. You know, you don't want to mark every one with a speed square. Right. So we're at 412. So we got our pivot point. Let's go. We get, we're get. we using our common. 412. Let's get his pivot. Marks his angle. He's using the common. And our degree now is at... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 degrees. 19 degrees. Okay, so then we're gonna come over to the chop saw. So we're gonna set the chop saw up. At 19 degrees. I believe, let's see, there's 20 there, there's 19. To match our line. All right, let's test it. So you can see that we're right there. Yep. So converting it over, just follow your line through whatever. Now we made it, like I said, we made it a 412. We just follow the read the degree sign on the bottom mm -hmm. of the speed square, which gave us our 19. And then we set our that way you can just cut all your rafters at one time, your one end with the chop saw instead of using the speed square on every one. Right. So you don't have to go through the math. Once you yeah. get the math set up once, yep. you just you can use it over and over again. You'll you'll convert the math over to your piece of equipment and save yourself a lot of time. A right. Long time. Yep. Yep. Perfect. All right, is there anything else you want to cover with this thing, Frankie? No, no, no. I basically, I mean, I don't know a whole bunch about it. Just what I use them for. I mean, that's what I use them for. Right. Same thing. Yeah. Yep. So, with that being said, I think our video is done because we've covered the basics. Not yep. how to do a 90 degree, how to do a 45, how mm -hmm. to rip stock with it. How to convert it over to degrees from regular you know your commons right how to also use it as a protractor yep and then how to convert from how to cheat and use the numbers that you get on your speed square to your chop saw yep. so that you don't have to keep doing the math every single time yep. and then you rip down your boards with your quarter inch increments yep yep that's it so there's probably a couple of things that we didn't cover in this video put in, put it in the comments down below would love to hear from you guys this is the basics from Frankie and I. We got a lot more work to do, so we're yep. gonna let you guys go do what you're doing and uh, check out these other two videos here and do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification, and that's all we got for today. God bless, go get them. Okay, now what's the, that bell thing you're talking about? You know, talking oh, about on videos, thing? you gotta hit the bell notification. Or Just, What's that, where are they? I, well, I watch the video, I mean, I watch them and stuff, but I mean, I ain't. It's, it's up in the... Now every time you watch a video you should push that? No, just once. Oh.